Okay, so we're here in uh, Xi'an. What's, what's the district called we're in? I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, I want to address something that is um, a number of internet people um, yeah. consider when we come and do things in China, we are doing white monkey jobs. Yeah. And I really don't understand why they, they term this. I, I, I don't get, you know, we, we're here. We're enjoying ourselves. We've seen things that we wouldn't normally see. We've just seen the most amazing puppet traditional show. puppet show that I've ever seen in my life. I yeah. mean, the skill of those people. Yeah. Now, we're in a, a relatively, I guess, poor part of China, mm. or not an affluent part, not like yeah. a big city. And all that village or, or area town want to promote is they want to promote themselves for, yeah. for you know, for, for, for tourists to come here and, and see and bring business to the area. And of course, they want to show us, so we can we we are we are kind of have followings on our you know yeah. our YouTube and our Twitters and our Chinese platforms and whatever Instagrams and yeah. that. and they want to sort of spread the word outside um, you know to, to to these fans that they have things here that might be very interesting yeah. for people to see. And they invite us along and and we get to see some cool stuff. But, you know. I mean, it's, sometimes it's a bit weird because the cultural divide is very evident. Like we're at a, we're at a, basically a granary, an old granary, mm -hmm. and yeah. in their minds, this is the probably one of the most interesting places in town. You yeah. know, and uh, they put up this puppet show and they want to kind of spread the word. So, what options do they have? You know, they have. You know, uh, the opportunity to invite some foreigners who already have, uh, uh, you know, some sort yeah. of following. But beyond even us as YouTubers, I mean, w the term white monkey job goes way, way beyond just this. Absolutely. You know, it's whether you're standing out in front of a housing complex to encourage people yeah. to come in, which I've done, or you're a guy that's uh, handing out drinks at a bar, which I've done, Yeah. Uh, or you're just a person that's hired to walk around yeah. and fraternize with people, uh, which I've is what I've done. I, I've delivered flyers, you know? Yeah. And and, and I've seen, I, I remember seeing a documentary on, on the TV in, in England. Very, very beautiful girl model. She's standing in the middle of an aeroplane hangar, freezing cold, because <laughs> yeah. they're doing shoots. Now, yeah, yeah. Is she a white monkey? Yeah. I've or, lived, or, or is she an yeah, actress? Yeah, yeah. You know, is she a model? It's a gig. It's basically a gig. And if you want to consider what we're doing in certain cases, white monkey jobs, then you've got to consider the person that's hired in Tennessee to go to the bar and hand out shots, a white monkey job, or yeah. you know, the person that uh, is hired by a talent agency to do any number of things. You know, uh, I lived in Vegas for five years, mm -hmm. and so I, I saw white monkey jobs coming out of the yeah. woodwork, you know? You, you can go to European countries, Mediterranean yeah. countries, where lots of young British people go on holiday, right? Yeah. They have streets. There's 20 bars along the street. Yeah. There'll be 50 young girls walking around in that street. And what will they be doing? They will be encouraging you to go into their club by yeah. offering you free drinks or, or things like that. <laughs> now, is that, is that a white monkey job? According to some people, yes. Because really the only difference is that it's happening in China or outside China. And I, I don't know, there's this weird yeah. stigma, you know? Something that might be normal outside is aggressively crazy inside, you know? Yeah. We're going to check out a unique part of the city. You are a shill. You, but you, outside yeah. of China, you are a, uh, a influencer, influencer or yeah, a person so promoting. So it's, it's really, I don't know. So let's just put this into context. If, if I was in the UK, right? And let's say in, in some area of, of the UK, they opened a new attraction, yeah? Mm. They, would, they would contact 20 influencers, yeah? yeah. 20 internet celebrity yeah. kind of people. Yeah. They would invite them there. Yeah. They would pay all their expenses. Yeah. You would have a great day. You would eat nice food. You, you would be bussed around and taken to, to, to the places. Nobody would bat an eyelid. That, that would be marketing. That would be influencing. Yeah. But move that same exact thing to China, all of a sudden, oh, yeah, your CCB, bad. propaganda is yeah, for promoting yeah. a good side of China, when in fact, China has loads of good things. And I really don't have a problem with that. I get to experience it. I've just experienced that puppet show, which I wouldn't have seen. Yeah, and yeah that, that was seriously awesome. seriously impressed me. I I've, was actually impressed by it. I've never seen anything yeah, like that before yeah. in my life. And that, that, that really impressed me. And I wouldn't have got to seen that if, if I hadn't come on this trip. 
let, let, let me bring up another point. Uh -huh. Because we are kind of strangers in a strange land, right? Yeah. Uh, China has a lot of different minorities, a lot of different cultures, but they're all Asian. So mm -hmm. when we come here as Westerners, we are unique. So we kind of become a clique. And so we don't see all of the other gigs. There's For every one quote unquote white monkey gig, there's hundreds of thousands of gigs that Chinese people are filling. Of course, well, but Chinese, we only yeah. see we only see a specific narrow margin of that. Yes. So in in our minds, we might feel like we're only being used because mm -hmm. they're asking for the foreigner to come. Well, that's what we are, you know. And, and so we're just filling the need for that 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 promotion, just like anywhere in the world. Of course, you know. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, just, you know, you you see so many. Um, roles advertise and they want yeah. a certain height of person yeah, yeah. and this is not just here in china this is anywhere in the world yeah yeah, yeah. oh we need uh you know this color kind of person yeah. we need you know this height yeah. male female you know if you need an asian you're going to go to chinatown in your local area and you're going to post up on the billboard or you know what i mean yeah, like so that's course, kind of yeah. it doesn't mean that it's racist or not it just means you're filling a need uh, I, I i i sometimes take offense to some of the connotations because I mean, we're having a great time. Absolutely. And, you know, it's it's all about a win-win scenario. If you can leverage the fact that we are Westerners here and, uh -huh. you know, we can take a job that maybe a Chinese person's looking for some sort of an exotic look, then why not? It's the same what? way that in Vegas somebody's looking for that, you know, uh, I, I, I looked at some casting calls <laughs> and I saw a one for a black Asian to act like Santa Claus at some, you know, event, yeah, you know, yeah. everybody's uh, looking for a specific uh, thing. Interesting, Santa Claus. So, okay, in the UK every year, they recruit literally loads of older, white-haired gentlemen yeah. who've got a bit of a, a bit of a pudge. Yeah. For Santa Claus yeah. to sit in the grottos up and down the UK yeah. now. Is that a white monkey job? Technically. You know? Technically, <laughs> yeah. I mean, white Santa it, job. It just, it just, I, I get a little bit annoyed when I hear these people yeah. say this, and it's like they try to to paint it as it's as a, bad a really thing. horrible thing. Yeah, you know? that, that you're doing it because you're in China. You know, nothing can be good in China yeah, according yeah, yeah. to these people. Right, everything's right, right, right. everything's terrible. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and and it's all aiding and abetting the the terrible CCP. You know. Okay, okay. Have you had a terrible job like this? In the UK, yeah. No, no, I mean here in China. <laughs> I've yeah, had some yeah, that you've are not had as some balanced. Are, you've had some yeah. that are like, oh, they're kind of dragging me around and making me do this and that what? and the other. But yeah. that's, I've had jobs, like you said, in UK, yeah, or I've yeah. had jobs in the States that treated me the same way. It's just a bad gig. Yeah. It's not It's not like you're being mishandled because you're a foreigner. Sure. You just got a bad gig, you know? What I will say in China, they always do try to get a little bit more than the deal. Mm. That's something I've noticed. So mm -hmm. if, if, if you're scheduled to do like three hours of film and they all want to push you to four or a yeah, little bit yeah, more. Yeah. Well, China <laughs> does that too, though. They kind of drag you around by the by the, the neck sometimes. Yeah. You know, but, but it, again, it's not a Chinese thing, I'm just saying. It's just a, a boss and employee kind of gig situation. I've yeah. been in, you know, uh, it, it's... Uh, just trying, you know what? We're doing these videos just because we want to like add show our, people. Yeah, yeah, show, yeah, show people, people. You know, the the one thing I will say, the the last thing I'll put is mm. when you do do these gigs in China, the one thing they do do is feed you well. <laughs> yeah, there's too never, well. there's virtually never a shortage yeah, yeah, yeah. of food. Is yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. there's there's too a, much food. <laughs> there's, there's a huge dinner. There's a huge lunch. You know, and, and to be honest, it gets a bit a bit too much for me. <laughs> anyway. Um, it was just trying to give us a bit of a perspective to push back to this sort of negative narrative yeah. that there always is about foreigners, um, you know, traveling and, and working around China in order to promote villages, towns, tourist areas, whatever it may be. Yeah. And, you know, anyway. But uh, I mean, we are at a gig right now that other people might refer to as you're just being manipulated as a white monkey. And we're seeing it from a completely different perspective as we're taking a great project. We've been reached out and, and invited on this thing mm -hmm. and we're just making the best of it. And it's a win-win because they're having fun while I'm having fun. Well, we're you know, having great fun. We're, we're great here fun. with, you know, three or four of the YouTubers. Yeah. We, we've had some great laughs. We've drank beer, we've had yeah. good food. Yeah. Oh, we've yeah. interacted with the Chinese people. It's we were been, laughing so hard yesterday. Oh, you know? I mean, you might see that video on uh, Guelo's <laughs> oh, channel. 
<laughs> Puelo's got the uh, the back uh, the the back room but, shots. But I, th I think the conclusion is there's nothing yeah. wrong with having a good time yeah. and promoting places. Yeah. There really isn't, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tie that up from there. Yep. Say goodbye. See Matt. you later, Jail. As always, take care. <laughs>